Hi guys, it's Miss Lisa and I'm out on the porch for Sunday porch time story time and today's books I'm gonna read you two in a row are for Kylie and Cameron who live in New Jersey and their mom was doing a workshop with me on the zoom and they recognized my voice and said is that the lady from the porch and I realized then that it was time to definitely start doing the porch time story times once again so thank you very much to Kylie and Cameron and to everybody else who has sent me messages saying thanks for going back out on the porch I really appreciate it so today to say thanks I have a couple in a row for you and as you can see it's very sunny again here in Florida this is called just a story and it is by Jeff Mack just a story this is just a story about a boy, ooh, it might be very shadowy here, who was almost captured by pirates. And then almost eaten by a lion. And then almost trampled by a herd of wild elephants. And then almost stomped on by a big baby dragon. And then almost squished by a belly flopping blue whale. Got to turn it upside down. And then almost carried away by an alien with a tractor beam and an Elvis wig flying a spaceship high above the clouds. And then, oh, gotta turn the page. Worst of all, ooh, I'm getting confused. <gasps> Almost kissed Oh, this is kind of tricky, but not quite. Then he went down the hole. Whoosh. Actually, there was nothing to worry about. You know why? Because this is just a story. And they're all waiting to come out again. Just a story by Jeff. Mac. All right, the second one I've got for you is called Laugh Out Loud Baby by Tony Johnston and Stephen Gamble. And if you've listened to me read a lot of the Porch Time Story Times, you're going to recognize the illustrations. It's the same guy who did Monster Mama. Laugh Out Loud Baby. The sun went behind the cloud. We'll take advantage of that. The first time our baby laughed out loud, our family stood stock still to listen. Sweet day! That small spill of happiness went rippling through the house, a dazzle, a jazzle, a shine. We all knew it was the sound of joy, so we laughed out loud. Excuse me. So we laughed out our joy, too. We picked up our jolly baby and we passed him around. Each one of us kissed him soft as a butterfly. Each time we did, he laughed out loud. So did we, all jolly. Then I said, let's have a laugh out loud party. It says, LOL, laugh out loud. So we did and everybody came. Oh, glory. Aunts and uncles and cousins of all ages and crinkly grandmas and wrinkly grandpas and a throng of neighbors. There's the sign that says party and they drew an arrow this way. And our old twinkly great grandma who was old, old, old. I came to laugh out loud, she said, and then she guffawed. Everybody came jostling into the house wearing smiling kinds of clothing. They all entered grinning and laughing because it was a laugh out loud party. 
When they saw our merry little baby, everybody scooped him up. They looked into his shining new face and smiled like pumpkins. They coochie coochie cooed that baby cheerily and tried to urge a laugh from him. They tried with laughs of all different sorts. Snickery nose laughs and belly laughs and deep drum laughs and thin skin laughs and down to your toes laughs and horsey snorts until the walls of the house throbbled with happiness. Our baby looked pleasant as can be, but no laughs spurted out of him. So we passed around good foods, both goopy and not, plates and plates, trays and trays, pots and pots. And then we got down to eating. We ate and we blabbed and we blabbed some more. At last, when everybody was full of supper and blab, there came along a slot of silence, like an angel passing, and into that quiet, rang a little mirthful sound. Whoopee doodles, our baby laughed. Can you almost hear him laughing just from looking at the picture? So everybody erupted with mirth once more. When they couldn't muster another he 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 or ho ho ho, the visitor said, aren't babies a wonder? And then they dwindled out the door. They dwindled down the road, some on foot, some on bikes, some in cars, moving off into the dipping stars. Before they went, soft as butterflies, they kissed our laughed-out-loud baby. By then, he was groggy with sleep. But he must have felt those kisses because he smiled the sweetest smile, and he held his laughs inside himself until tomorrow. the end. I like that one. The Laugh Out Loud Baby. And I hope you enjoyed it. I know the sun got kind of bright there. I will see you next time for more Porch Time Story Time. Bye-bye.